Hi, I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. So great to see you all. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are www.yeyeo and I'm Alemi. We're a spiritual wellness supplier, which is why I do videos about all things spiritual. Today, I want to shout out, shout out, shout out, pew, 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 all my people from Newark, New Jersey. So great to see you. And this is our hometown. Today, I thought we could talk about a hot and spicy subject. We're having a video about it. We're having a live about it. We're going to have a whole week of talking about this subject and how it impacts all of us. And that wonderful subject is, is witchcraft really bad? I think it's really good. So let's get started. So this term witchcraft, I think that a lot of times we're not really clear on what this word means it has a very negative uh, history as to where this term came from. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time today, but on my live, we're going to really get into it. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the history of the word, but more so about what it means, what it represents to us, and how we're all doing it on a regular basis and not even in awareness of that. So the word which is really for the feminine and warlock is really for the masculine. And this is a European term that started during medieval times. And it first came about women were called witches who were thought of as hired hands to do negative spiritual work, to do sorcery, to um, exert negative will or dominant will or some will to get someone to do something against their, uh, their consent. So in the United States, even uh, once there was Europeans migrated to the United States, we've heard, many people have heard about the Salem witch trials. Witch trials, right? This idea of same thing. These women were first the ones with this term persecuted because they had the gift of will. They had the gift of sorcery. They have the gift of manifestation, having the gift of amplified intention, right? I want you all to listen to these words that I'm saying today because this video is a video I've thought about for a minute and I really want to get into it with you all. And please comment below. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear about whether or not you want me to kind of dig into this a little bit more in another video separate from the live. So we're all witches and warlocks, if we want to use that term. We could say we're sorceress and sorcerers, right? We could say that we're shamans. We could say for South American and Latin, Latin speakers, we're culanderos or culanderas, right? These terms of people who are able to use nature to manifest a change. I want to repeat that. To use nature to manifest a change, right? So when we do candle work, well, all the elements need to be in play for that to be the strongest. But the fire element is nature. The wax is earth, is nature, right? Air and so on. When we sit and we pray out in the elements, same idea, bringing in nature to manifest a change. These terms that I just mentioned can come in so many different ways. But at the end of the day, it's the person and the work. It's the witch and the craft. It's the shaman and the work, whatever way you want to put that together. 
And so I first want to say I am so, so proud of all my witches and warlocks out there because this is a term I'm just so happy that we can use today because many years ago we were persecuted for it, we were discriminated against for it, we were treated like lepers, all of these different things. This term now of doing ritual and doing spells and doing magic, it's in magazines, it's on TV shows. <laughs> We've seen thousands of TV shows, series about the witch, right? And now we've got movies coming out like The Northman and The Woman King. Thank you all, everyone out there who has promoted the art of manifestation, the art of mind magic, the art of intention, the art of affirmation through any medium. I thank you because we're all witches and warlocks. So the other thing that I thought about was the other term that kind of fell into this negative stereotype, which we don't believe in anymore, is this term of sorcery. And so we're all sorcerers. Why? Because we're manifestors. The source has put us here to manifest, to manifest our highest good. And so for all of you who still are interested in seeing me talk about how we do self-sabotage through doing negative work to ourselves, comment below. I called it doing black magic to yourself. So if you're interested in that, comment below. And if you've got some really delicious terms for it, I want to hear that and see that too. So sorcery also has a negative stereotype. But when we use the word ritual, which is encompassing of witchcraft, of witchy stuff, of manifestation, intention, all of these different things put together, it's all ritual. It all falls under the umbrella of ritual. What is ritual? Ritual is a series of steps or actions that we take to manifest a result. And so in the Bible, it talks about ritual, right? Some people are on their knees. Some people put their hands together to pray. Uh, we see in, in, in the Buddhist circles or Hindu circles, various ways of praying. Muslims with the knees, head bowed down. Yoruba, fully bale, or prostrating on the floor or on the side. We see this in so many different ways, right? When people go into the Catholic Church, they genuflect and they go in and they kneel and they do the sign of the cross. Doing the sign of the cross is a ritual. However, it depends on your circles. For some people, it means the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In other, in other circles, it means north, south, east, and west. It's all still ritual. Some of us, we get up in the morning. The first thing that we do, we may praise the source. Uh, we may praise Ori. We may talk to our higher self. We may go sit with the ancestors. We drink coffee. We drink tea. We exercise. All of these different things are rituals. Notice when we use the word ritual, it's not necessarily negative. But the people who are doing dark work or negative work are still doing ritual, just like the people who are doing positive work are still doing ritual. And so I wanted to kind of bring this out a little bit, start to massage this subject, because when we do the live, when you come on the live, we're going to, we're going to blow it up. And so I want to use this moment to demystify some of these thoughts that we have because some of these negative terms are now modern day every day, right? We have hashtags called wishy, witchy tips and hashtags with all different terms that are considered to be um, around witchiness or sorcery, ritual, and things like that. 
And so we want to make it where it's much more open and even for everyone to be this versus only some people who can be this. And so I want to hear from you, share some thoughts with you. We're in the store, so see the doorbell's going. That means that we're finished with the video. Thank you so much for joining us and see you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.